Today we will discuss alias DMV Beefs Part 23. In this episode, we will discuss some topics that have been going on such as Situation Slim and Woodlands Beef with Two Coin and the Hogs, and we will also get into this beef between DC and Memphis that has recently been brought back to life after the Hogs rob Young Dolph's artist and the streets saying, this was get back for the shy glizzy incident. The first topic we will get into is this situation. Slim Beef. Situation Slim is a rapper from Woodland who just came home recently and would start rapping and would even sign a deal. So when I play his music, it's going to be pitched. Situation Slim is beefing hard with people like Trap Hard Swag, Lincoln Heights, and this light-skinned guy named Two Coin from Southwest. Two Coin would go viral for getting shot at on live a while back, and this was allegedly Situation Slim work. Getting death threats. Oh my mother, I ain't gotta be on point, bro. The way my, the way this Jones set up, like. You know like a nigga wouldn't do no shit, bro. But you don't know because you don't come around, bro. So I'm just telling you, like... I'm, but I'm telling you, bro, like... I ain't got to be on point, bro. I'm gonna, I know they, they watching, too. You know what I mean? I might even sit in the middle of the street. You niggas ain't never going to come. Nah, this shit gone. I'm really yeah. waiting outside just for somebody to... After this time would pass, and this two coin guy from Southwest would began rapping alongside morally rich Jake. Two coin gets a lot of money and can be seen here getting a $100 haircut in the back of the black truck. Do you think his barber got him right for a night out with the men? Two Coin also raps about how he shot Jody Sneeze and his young son, who I did a video on. In this song, he gives a play-by-play -play on how he caught Jody Sneeze, and he had the white mask on and was ready to leave him, and he disses his young son saying how Lil Bruh got hit too. After this, the A-Team and the Hogs would go back and forth through Instagram and Situation Slim would even end up robbing a hog and posting it. Situation Slim would speak on two coin shooting kids in a song saying that ain't law, and he would also do a song with his cousin AC640. And in this song he would diss fallen Lincoln Heights member Feet. Situation Slim claims that they killed Feet.
Now we will get into the Hogs Rob Young Dolph artist Big Moochie Great. Recently, Lincoln Heights member Tall Moak would be released back to jacking whips and programming shit, and he would preview a new snippet along with some pictures of him with a paper root empire chain, which is Dolph label. The streets would react to him with this chain saying a lot of different things. One person would even say that they took down Big Moochie Grape for Shy Glizzy. Memphis and DC had some beef back in the day because Shy Glizzy got took down for the Glizzy gang chain by some Memphis goons. Do you think Shy Glizzy paid the hogs to get back for him? Yo, his chain got taken, yeah. right? Now, I'm doing videos at that time, and I'm, you know, that's always been my thing. Like, you, I'm going to make a joke out of everything as much as you can. You try mm -hmm. to make people entertain. But I remember when I knew that you didn't probably appreciate that. I'm like, well, if I'm not lying, mm -hmm. right? Because as the story goes, supposedly, like, I just don't even remember. Oh, yeah, you went to a club, right? And it was just you and probably like a manager or some shit. Yeah. Right? And dudes ain't have enough to pay you, whatever, whatever. They probably thought you were disrespecting them, blah, right. blah. Fight happened. They got your chain. That ain't happen. What do you mean that happened? That ain't happen at all. Ain't no dudes not pay me. I get paid anywhere I go. I'm not a dude that people even play with in that man or disrespect at all. I don't even tolerate no disrespect. So I was like, you know, that ain't a situation that, you know, I came to speak on, but it is good to, who else to touch on it better than with you? So it's like, yeah. that didn't go on, you know, like, uh, f apparently, you know, a nigga I was fucking with wanted me to tap in. So I ain't a nigga that tap in with nobody, you know what I'm saying? I got, man, I got a village behind me, you know what I'm saying? I'm him, like, where I come from, like, I'm him. So like, it wasn't even a, I, you know, that I ain't feel like that was in my nature, especially with me already fucking with big dogs that was from that era, you know, everything was cool. <clears throat> Wait, he wants you to tap in like, he wants you like- At this time, I was tapping in with everybody, you know, I'm going city to city, I'm fucking the streets up, so I'm tapping in with upcoming artists. I brought money back y'all that night before he ever was fucking with CMG, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was all love, so, I got into it with another nigga, you know what I'm saying? A nigga that was popping shit, whatever the case may be. But we got into it. That nigga ain't never snatched my chain off my neck. He ain't never come up to me, approached me on a, He approached me, I pushed him, we got into a little scuffle. 
my shit came off, but the niggas that, that was telling me to top in, them the niggas that had the motherfucking chain the whole time. So like, it's like, why the fuck would I, you know what I'm saying? I top in with some niggas that, you know what I'm saying? On some scheme and shit like this. So the whole play was put together, you know, so, on some backdoor shit like that. So, but, so the people you, you you had the altercation with, that's those ain't the people who been was, was online with it? Nah, I ain't have an altercation with them. I never got into it with them. Them niggas was in the back of me the whole time. They was supposed to be, them who I supposed to be topping in with to even be fucking with down there. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. who, according to the phone call that I got, they wanted me to connect with them. But that never happened, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no intentional thing, but I was moving around, doing what I'm doing. Busy. Yeah, and you know, we seen each other at the show, whatever the case may be, but that shit was some tacky shit, you know? I was fucking with niggas. Then, you know, who go get a chain back on camera? Well, you, when a real nigga ever done that? You know how many niggas I got something back for or I done something for? You ain't never, I don't even take pictures. Like, why the fuck would I be getting a nigga chain back on camera that I'm working on a mixtape with or I'm doing these? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no money exchange in that video. What money? You know what I'm saying? Like, what yeah. money that nigga? I ain't paying for no chain back. Man, your mother gonna die before I pay for my motherfucking chain back. You know what I'm saying? Like, 